All right, Miles, let's talk Kansas City Chiefs. This is a team that, while they haven't been in the news a lot yet this offseason, this is a team structured, obviously, to win for the Super Bowl. We saw it last year. It worked out for them, and they're headed in that direction again. And we've got some breaking news about a star player that potentially maybe was on the chopping block, maybe had some contract negotiations to work out. That's a really great sign for the Chiefs with the star player just came out and said, Miles. Yeah, Nick, and I really love the Chiefs. I love what they've been doing. But they still can fill out this roster more. There is room for growth, even though it may be slight. Uh, because defending Super Bowl champions were legally obligated to say that once a team wins. But Nick, let's ask the Chiefs fans in the comments below. Free agency period about to open up here in the next day or so. Let us know in the comments below. Who are you eyeing? Who would you like the Chiefs to go after? Is there a smart move, under the radar move that everybody else is missing? Let us know in the comments below. But Nick, who is this superstar on the Chiefs? Yeah, because one of the things with the Chiefs, right, when you lock up the quarterback, as they, as they obviously did with Patrick Mahomes, you're kind of worried that some of the other veterans, maybe on the other side of the ball, will fall by the wayside. That is not the case, right? You have all pro, superstar, all everything, defensive tackle. Chris Jones has come out and said that he, quote, according to Twitter, I'm a chief for life. I will not play for another franchise. Chris Jones right now is a very interesting situation with the Chiefs. If the Chiefs cut him this offseason, they would open up $22 million of cap space, roughly a little less. And obviously he's going into the last year of his deal. He's an older guy, a veteran guy. So he's normally the kind of player that is a cap casualty, especially for teams like the Chiefs that are spending a lot of money in other positions. And he, you know, there have been contract negotiations between Veach and Nick uh, Jones's camp as well. And the fact that he would come out and say this publicly, Mice, to me, this is sort of from a business perspective, this is kind of the worst negotiation tactic as you can get from a guy like Jones. Obviously, Veach is going to sit there and try and lowball him potentially a little bit to keep him with the Chiefs. But I think he's just being honest here, right? Because if you look at a guy that's just focused on a big payday, if it's not with the Chiefs, with another team, which you could get, right? You go to the Bears or the Falcons or the Raiders or a team that needs defensive help that has a lot of cap space and they're willing to unload it on a guy like Jones. He could leave tomorrow, agree to, to be a cap casualty and get that money. The fact that he's very public and very frontward facing saying, look, I want to be a Kansas City Chief. I think it's a sign that that culture and environment around the Chiefs is really positive. It almost reminds me a little bit of the uh, Belichick Brady Patriots era where all these veterans kept playing for the Chief. It almost has that kind of vibe, which is obviously a great sign for the Chiefs going forward. Yeah, Nick, I like the move. I like Jones as a player. Really awesome. great last season. Obviously got 15 and a half sacks. Was really, really phenomenal. And, you know, I like the Chiefs. They have key players at all different positions. And if you look at the PFF chart here, Nick, on defense, Jones, PFF, first overall graded defensive interior lineman at 92.3. On the offensive line, the Chiefs obviously have Creed Humphrey, First, uh, P number one PFF graded center. Uh, they have Travis Kelsey, number one uh, graded tight end, and then Mahomes, number one graded quarterback. So they have key pieces all around the ball. And Jones staying, he is the staying point of that defense. He is the brightest spot. So it would be very nice to keep him. He is by far the best player on that defensive line. So I, I think he really shines. And I think maybe with the development of a couple of the other guys, like Dana, the 2020 guy, or uh, Karlaftis from last year, the rookie. Those guys can maybe grow with Jones and become a little bit better, but by far he is outshining everybody. So he wants to be on the Chiefs for life. I'm sure the Chiefs would like to have him around for life because he's been such a good player for them. But as you said, you know, I, I think him in the middle of a negotiation coming out and saying, hey, I want to be a Chief for life without the deal even being done yet, saying that, you know, I'm not really going to field offers from any other teams. Shows that he really cares about the organization. You know, he might just be a little bit juiced up from that Super Bowl victory, but he also just wants to be with the Chiefs. He believes in this team and believes what they are doing. Myas, I want to touch on something that you brought up that I think is outstanding. When you're a player of Jones's caliber, you want to be surrounded on your side of the ball with good players, right? This is one of the things that the Rams did with Aaron Donald. One of the reasons they went all in surrounding him with great players because guys like that can get complacent and frustrated when they're surrounded with mediocre talent. That's just the way it is. A players, like I always like to say, want to play with A players. If you put A players with C players, they get frustrated and want to leave. Obviously, the Chiefs have a lot of A players on offense, Mahomes, Kelsey, and Humphrey. But of course, on defense, they're a little bit lighter. They're a little bit younger. But uh, Jones looks at the roster. He looks at Carl Aftis. He looks at Leo Chanel, looks at Nick Belton, looks at a lot of these guys. Look at the secondary with the guys like McDuffie. And he's like, hey, listen, these guys are young, but they're studs. I'm happy to play with these guys. I'm perfectly pumped playing on the same defense as these guys under Spagnola and company because I think these guys are good players. 
I obviously know I'm an A-plus All-Pro player, but these guys are going to be A-players one day too. And if the Chiefs weren't so good at drafting and developing guys, on whether it's offense or defense, guys like Jones would just leave because they get frustrated. They'd be surrounded with mediocre talent on their side of the ball. Not the case here. So again, it's a testament to the culture and the winning environment in Kansas City, but it's also part of the fact they're able to draft and develop young guys so well, right? Jones wants to play with these young guys. He doesn't want to go off somewhere else just to make more money. He's willing to take less money, want to win. That's a big part of it. But two, because he's pleased with the group of guys around him. He's happy to go to work with them every day and compete with them on his side every day. And again, it's all just more energy and more good vibes that shows the Chiefs are really the best run franchise in the NFL right now.